Welcome to today's video, my name is DB and today we're going to talk about our starter guide from 0 to 70. So I'm going to run through a few ideas about what I think is best for you to do. They're kind of commonly known, but I just want to put them in one video and just do a little guide for everybody. So, let's start the intro. Okay, so first things first, when you start, hit it into adventure mode and go on to hard difficulty. So first thing you want to do, click start game. Okay, so once you're into the game, the first thing you want to do is swap out your weapon with one of your followers. So if you are the demon hunter, you want to swap weapons with the scoundrel. Get his bow, increases your damage by some time, by quite a lot. So look. Yeah, so you get 156% damage buff already. Okay, so once you got your scoundrel's weapon, what you want to do next is head over to Gadala and spend your blood shards that you've got from your challenge rift. So to spend those blood shards, you want to go over to d3planner.com. Uh, I'll put a link underneath. And what you're going to be running at level 1. So you can put whatever level you want in there. But at level 1, you want to be looking at using belts. You want to get a belt, you want a Hellcat waste card or a Vigilante belt. Uh, gold wrap's quite good. And you also want to try and get the Oryx Crown for a Demon Hunter. For Barb, you want to go for Loot Socks, Braces, or the Oryx Crown. So if you get Loot Socks in your first go, because that helps with Leap. Uh, braces of Destruction is obviously good for Seismic Slam. Braces of First Men for Hammer of the Ancients. So if you can get any of these, that's a really good start for you. It'll help you level up faster with a lot more power. For a wizard, I'd probably look at Vigilante Belt and Leoric's Crown, or possibly Winter Flurry. For Witch Doctor, you want to look at Vigilante Belt, Leoric's Crown, and then maybe a Mojo, which is Gazing Demise. Maybe. But I'd definitely go for Leoric's Crown first and Vigilante Belt. For the Monk, same again, really. You probably could go with for the Riviera Dancers or the Crudest Boots. You may want to go for Caesar's Memento, or Gundo Gear, or Pinto's Pride. Uh, but again, you want to try and get Leoric's Oryx Crown. It's one of the ones that you really need, because you put in a ruby in there. It'll just work better with leveling. So, for Crusader, you obviously... Leoric's Oryx Crown is still there, Vigilante Belt is still there. And they're the two for Crusader, really. There's nothing here that... These are 75 a time. Uh, you may be able to get away with... Pox Folds, maybe, but I would definitely say Vigilante Belt uh, or Leoric's Crown. For the Necromancer, you want to go for the Grasps of Essence uh, and Leoric's Crown again. Maybe go for Vigilante Belt, but these two, because this will use your Exploding Corpse and gives you massive amounts of damage. You can stack five times, you get 500% damage, potentially. Uh, yeah, that's the gear that you want to be using. So I'll put a link into this at the bottom. So next tip is to go and find a boss. Generally you want to look at Zoltan Cool or Magda. These are the two that you want to get. You could go for Belial but it's very difficult to kill. These are the two easiest bosses to kill. Which is Zoltan Cool and Magda. Make sure that these are bounties because then you get a demonic cache. Which gives you a lot more items to use. Then once you've done that, so you've built your boss, you've killed your boss, you've got some extra items, you want to then start running Halls of Agony level 3 until you hit around level 11. Okay, so once you've hit level 11, what you want to find now is the merchants. So merchants with trinkets, you want to try and buy a ring that has your skill, so dexterity um, or extra light per hit. You want two of those rings and you want an amulet as well. Some of the other merchants on other acts may have different items for you. So have a look. look. See, this one now has a 2-4% damage. 2-4 to four damage. And this one has 6 fire skill. So make sure you have a little look around of all the acts to make sure that you get the right one. So once you hit a level 11, and then every 10 levels onwards, well, maybe 5-10 five, five to 10 levels onwards, you want to head back to your artisan, which is the blacksmith. And if you're a demon hunter, you want to start crafting the bow. So if we craft the bow, the Apprentice Warden bow, it's really simple, it's only four of each. You can then have a nice damage buff of, say, 400%. Thank you very much. You're on your way again. 
Uh, if you're any other character, you probably want to go for a two-handed axe. And then just craft one of them. Again, it's four of each and a thousand bucks. Fairly cheap. And it gives you those big damage buffs that you're going to need when you're trying to rift through as much as you can. So once you've hit level 40, what you want to do is then craft your bows. Level 70 bow, and you're looking to do a level reduction here. So what you're also looking for is something that has chance to deal or chance to knock back or chance of critical hit um, on both primary and secondary and the reason for that is when you go over to your mystic and artisan you click on your maximum discipline it only gives you four potential items that are going to come out or four, four potential properties that are going to come out of doing this so you start off at quite a low amount uh, three of each and let's try and see what we can get out of it there we go, straight off. First one I've done, I've got a level requirement reduced by 22. So now, this bow, I only need to be level 48. Uh, once I start using that, once I hit level 48, I can use that item. It's a level 70 item, but I've reduced it down. You can re-roll these to try and get uh, a higher level reduction, but it only goes up to 30. So 22 is pretty decent. Uh, and then the problem is it costs more each time that you want to keep doing it. So I've just done three now, and it's already gone up to 55. Now it's 78,000. You may not have enough gold at this point to keep doing this all the time. Um, but yeah, you, you can try. See, now I've got level requirement reduced by 27, so that, that's why I'm doing it. But if I didn't, I'd have to pay 150,000 each time. So that's my recommendation. When you hit level 43 now, I can now use this item. I've got a huge buff. So once now you're at level 40, or 43 in my case, I would then look to up the torment up to torment one, or to maybe torment two, depending on how you feel. But you'll have other items in here. But you know, now you've got a level 70 item, you can go straight into torment torment one without even any worries of dying, because uh, you'll gather all your items through. This will give you a huge buff. You're a level 70 item. You're killing it. Now jump to torment one, and then rift from 40 or 45 right the way through to 70. So that is my tips for Diablo 3 running from 0 to 70. This You can do this within your season or without. Um, really hope you've enjoyed the video. Got some good tips. You should be able to do this within around 2 to 3 hours uh, of the season being live. I uh, hope you found it helpful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name is DB and I hope to see you all again soon.